Nothing going on today. Guess I can do whatever. Uh, let's hang out with Bryce. He's been treating me with respect lately, so I want to see what is going on. Okay. It didn't take me long to spot Bryce in the office. Yo, what's up? Nothing much. He told me to contact you if I could remember anything that might help you with the investigation. What have you got for me? I'm not sure if it's worth mentioning, but I have known Reza for a couple of years, so I might know some things about his personality. I see. That's actually more helpful than you might think. Mannerisms, habits, all kinds of things would be useful to add to his profile and get a better idea of him. You know, I'm just about done here for the day. If you want to discuss it over a beer, I'd be more than happy. Just one, I'll take three. <laughs> we'll see about that. Let's get trash, mate. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are. Not too shabby, I've got to admit. Just in time for happy hour. It's a cafe with coffee. I didn't know it sold beer as well. Do you come here often? <laughs> Uh, sometimes. Who's this? It's the waiter. Hey you two, what can I bring you? Just the usual. What's the usual? One generic beer for the chief of police. How about you, Ushio? Uh, the how do you know my name? How couldn't I? Everyone knows about you. What will it be? Uh, give me that beer. Noted. I'll be right back. It wasn't long before the waiter returned with a drinking bowl as wide as it was tall, filled to the brim with foam-topped dark amber liquid. Carefully, he sat her down in front of Bryce, who didn't hesitate to make, take a big gulp. He brought one for me as well, provided in a glass that seemed more appropriate for my kind. There you go, just call me if you need anything. Alright, no problem. Let's drink. <laughs> what is it you wanted to tell me about, Reza? There are a few things. I mean, probably not much, but anything might help, right? That's right, anything unusual about him, anything that defines his character or stands out about him could help us. How about you tell me what you know about him? Well, the earliest memory I have of him was when we both went to the same school. We only shared a few classes though and a couple of friends. Overall, I'd say he was an above average student. We didn't talk very often, but he was always very outspoken and never failed to speak up and make his opinions known. He was the kind of person I'd probably expect to become a politician one day or at least an activist of some sort. That's the impression I got of him. He spoke a lot, but you could also expect him to act on his word. Of course, his nature caused him to clash with others, sometimes even including the school staff, though his genuine enthusiasm also garnered praise for him. He was quite a character. He sounds like some kind of creepy political revolutionary type. Okay, after we all graduated, I didn't hear anything about him for a while, only some years later after we found the portal, and I was surprised to find out he was the human who would be sent to your world. He had volunteered. It wasn't until I was already here that I already met him again, however brief our interactions were. But then I already told you everything about what happened prior to the eventual scuffle with Maverick. There was only one thing that stands out to me about those events. In the restaurant, when he told me about the letter, he mentioned that I would know how to read its secret message. I know he values the use of his own intellect, but when I received the letter later, he apparently fully expected me to remember a random chemistry class we had together years ago in order to see the message. I see. So you did not arrange this beforehand? No. No idea. That is peculiar. Yeah, this dude's a weirdo. I know, I still wonder what he would have told me if Maverick hadn't interfered when he met at the portal. We do as well, and you can believe that. How was Maverick even allowed to intercept his letter and read it? He could have easily done so since he was in charge of Reza and everything, but he totally shouldn't have. I mean, we wouldn't do anything of the sort with you. Everything he's done in regard to Reza has been a poor show of character. I guess so. In any case, thanks for telling me all this. You never know when this kind of information could be useful. No problem. Just when I thought the awkward silence might set in, Bryce stopped the waiter and didn't hesitate to speak up. Yo, bring me more beer. I hadn't noticed, but while I was talking, Bryce had been busy sipping on the drink. An empty bowl before him was proof of his proficiency, while I barely touched my own. No, oh, that's it. That's it. Beer number two. All right, Bryce, just about to start on his second when suddenly he spoke up. You know what? Why don't we have ourselves a little drinking contest? Dude, you're going to kill me. I don't think I can beat someone like you. I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Considering they don't even have cars, at least I won't have to worry about drinking and driving. The rules are simple. 
we both get around and then we wait a few minutes until the next one so the effects can kick in. Wow, whoever gives up first loses. Let's burn some brain cells. <laughs> and whoever burns more wins. That's the true game of kings, I'm telling you. Alright, let's do it. He made a show of looking me in the eyes while he lowers his muzzle into the bowl before he started guzzling to drink noisily. It's gone in seconds, certainly. This was going to be tough. My confidence faltered and there was no turning back now. How did I think I could win a drinking contest against a freaking dragon? Nevertheless, I grasped the drink, putting on the best show I could while I tried to recreate Bryce's feet. After the first sip, however, I realised it was very different from any other beer I'd tried before, yet I persevered through the intense taste until the glass was empty. I probably wasn't as impressive as Bryce had been moments earlier, but I couldn't afford to show any weakness. My plan was cut short though, as I sat down the glass of an unusually strong aftertaste hit me, causing me to make a face. How'd you like it? It sucks. This is some strong stuff. I told you. You better know beforehand how much you can take or it'll hit you harder later on. Wanna give up? Heck no. <laughs> Alright, let's go again. When's the next round starting? Soon enough, do you feel it? Do you feel the buzz kicking in? Uh, Don't lie to me, I can see it in your face. Unless that's blushing I see and not the alcohol. Alright, it's a buzz. That's what I thought. Anyway, how'd you like it here so far? I mean, compared to wherever it came from. Uh, da, da, da. It's certainly a nice change from what I'm used to. Good to hear. Maybe next time we'll send the dragon over to your world. That would be uh, interesting. That thing would get shot on the spot and dissected. You know, that's just how people do things over here. <laughs> Waiter, bring us another round. It's coming right up. That's it, hit me. You know how it goes. That I'll do. Yeah, we're getting trashed. Careful, he's a pro. That's it. <laughs> Who's this? Is that Ziff? Did I hear something about a contest? Maybe. Up to your old shenanigans, I see. Don't spoil the fun. Don't go around telling people what you're up to either. Point taken, don't die. Dude, get in on this drinking. <laughs> of course he wouldn't have challenged me if he wasn't confident he would win. But I guess I'll try my best. I went first last time. Your turn now. As I put the glass to my list, I started swallowing the dark amber liquid. I was struck by how much more difficult this round was compared to the first. One thing that always puzzled me about seasoned drinkers was the sheer amount of liquid they could ingest without issue. Keeping it down, however, was a much different question. But this contest wasn't about keeping it down. There. Done. Your turn. Did I see you struggling for a second? Uh. Let's see how you do, though. I've had much more than this before. As for my turn, let me demonstrate what... Once again, he consumed his drink, though his swigs were noticeably slower as before. His resolve was also fading, though not as fast as mine had, as he clearly held the advantage. Was there any way I could turn it around? We are getting trashed. Alright, there. Done. Let me ask you a question. I know you wanted to tell me about all the stuff about Reza, but was that the only reason you wanted to meet? I don't know. Have a bit of fun. He's winking, oh my god, thought so, I won't disagree with that. Next round, let's get trashed. Ah, <laughs> uh, how far can we go? So we just go till we pass out, is that what we're going to do? Hey, holding up? Just fine, thanks for asking. If you say so, good luck. <laughs> Was it your turn or mine? Alright, we're starting to lose track. Yours? Okay. By now, it's obvious that Bryce was faltering, though he was still faring much better than I was. He even had to take a break in the middle of the beer, unable to down it in one go. Alright, my turn. He was a lot heavier than me, and even though his bowl was held far more liquid than my glasses, how did I think I stood a chance against him? When I picked up my glass, I didn't have feeling in my fingers anymore. Dude, you're getting paralytic. I had to pause a few times, but in the end I made it, though I wasn't sure how much more I could take. So, uh, what do we do now? Wait for you to throw up so I win. What? <laughs> you never said that was the rule. <laughs> well die. Of course it doesn't count if you spit out your drink halfway though. Alright. I suppose it still might if you lick it all up again. What the hell? I'm not going to drink up my vomit. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you a question? What's up? Why are you so brown? Well. How are we going to be lovey-dovey? Lovey-dovey drunk. I just am. Got nothing more to say about it. Next round. 
<laughs> there you are. Is the background getting more blurry? Or was it like that before? Blurrily, the dragon looked at me, seemingly unable to focus. I could see he was hitting his limit, or so was I. Maybe if I held out just a little bit longer. Whose turn is it even? Uh, Mine. Chug it. Good stuff. At this point, I had difficulties picking up my glass. I was about to give up, but I was sure if I held on for one more round, it would be over. I could still win. I had to wait a few minutes after each sip in order to continue, but I would not give up until eventually the glass was empty. Suck on that, you scaly bastard. Nah, don't be abusive. Your move, chief. <laughs> for the first time, I could see something in his eyes other than his always present confidence. Was it disbelief or insecurity? I guess my feet caught him off guard, as he seemed genuinely impressed. If nothing else, this showed me that even his own conviction was cracking now. I could totally win this. You're cute. I like you. I really do. But I sure as heck, I'm not going to let you win. Wow. <laughs> he was struggling. It became more and more obvious as he tried to swallow the liquid in his bowl bit by bit. He stopped at one point, panting heavily. I considered taking a cheap shot at him. But as he had refrained from doing so during my turn, I wasn't going to start now. There. Done. I was getting tired. I could hear Bryce's voice, but I could not make out the individual words anymore. I decided to rest my eyes, just for a little bit. Have I passed out? Boom! Gone! <laughs> you okay? You fell down. Look kind of messed up, dude. Uh, I'll mess you up if you don't get out of my face. What? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Good to hear. Ready for another round, or do you want to give up? Oh. I know when I've had enough. Now is that time. Well done. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> you know, it was fun watching you and all, but you've both had enough of the evening. I think you'd better leave. After you've come out from under the table, that is. Alright. <laughs> I'll be going. Wait a minute, what's up? Maybe you should go with him, just to make sure he gets home safely and doesn't do anything stupid, you know. It's kind of an unspoken rule here that whoever is his drinking buddy does so. Or is he a bad drunk? When I looked over to him, I discovered that Bryce had passed out for the moment. This could prove difficult. Uh, oh, that's fine. Leave. Just leave. Just walk out. All right, fine. Let's do it. Gotcha. Let's get you home. He's still unconscious. What? Um. Da, 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 da. Pep. Wow. Uh, let's. Bit of water. This should do the trick. Sploosh. <laughs> Wakey wakey, where am I? Still in the bar, let's go home. This is his place, alright. I awoke, looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. For a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. As I got up and looked around, I realised that I'd ha apparently slept on the floor. Where am I? This isn't my house. <laughs> this dude's crashed on the couch. I guess I must have passed out after I got Bryce home. You're Bryce. You're salivating. What? Wake up fatty. What the fuck? Morning sunshine. The dragon moved and let out a groan before he opened his eyes. Damn my head. Why are you even here? I guess I must have passed out after I escorted you home. Alright, after our little game. Do you remember who won? I don't even know, but you stood your ground and I respect that. You didn't do anything funny while I was out, did you? Like what? The dragon rose from the couch with a nice morning stretch, rubbed his eyes, and then held his head as he let out a grunt and a big yawn. Alright, you know what, I'm sorry. The whole contest seems my stupid idea, and I shouldn't have suggested it, especially not to you. Well, it's not that you forced me to participate, so I suppose I share some of the blame. Let's just pretend the whole thing never happened. Alright, deal. Wait, what time is it? Uh, Alright, gotta get going or I'll be late for work. You need know to get back to your apartment from here, right? I've got no idea where I am. I think so, alright, cool. I guess you should be going as well, kiddo. Maybe I'll see you some other time. Probably when there's the next murder. <laughs>